The Magnificent Seven Full Movie, Donald Trump in the Wild Western. Antoine Fuqua performs his version of these John Sturges with a cast headed by Denzel Washington, Ethan Hawke and Chris Pratt. Anybody thought the Western was in the doldrums, reconsider. Following the critical and commercial success of Django Unchained, 2013, Quentin Tarantino genre immortalized Edwin S. Porter directors like John Ford, Sam Peckinpah and Sergio Leone chances are they reinvented or Clint Eastwood returns in vogue to big screen this Friday on one Fuqua's hand. The director of Training Day, 2001, has returned to fashion guns, challenging looks, untamed territories as well as the sweltering heat with the Magnificent Seven remake of these 1960 John Sturges which was based on the Seven Samurais of Akira Kurosawa. What has turned? Fuqua together with his film The Magnificent Seven full movie is actually a clear homage to this film that he was excited small, never tired of seeing, like The Searchers, 1956, or True Grit, 1969, only to have starring the great John Wayne. Yes, the American filmmaker was clear it must be faithful to the initial plot also providing a modern vision and thus would not hesitate to possess Nick Pizzoletto screenwriter and author in the first round season of True Detective. When the version of Sturge's history took place in a small town in Mexico close to the U.S. border, Fuqua has moved this time the crime scene to Rose Creek, a town that lives the siege unscrupulous industrial Bartholomew Bogan whose inhabitants decide to stand up with the help of seven outlaws who have not lose. The undisputed leader in the band provides the face of Denzel Washington, director and actor fetish Ethan Hawke, with whom he done his best film to date valued. The good atmosphere created by the three training day returns to flow again wanting in this particular remake. Now, Washington moved from exercise of poly corrupt for being Sanchez Ohm, your head of the number of men who endanger their lives to protect people some homeless families whose spokesman is actually a brave young widow seeking justice without ruling vengeance, Haley Bennett. Denzel is the Yule Brenner in this version from the 21st century, a fugitive hunter quiet temple to be responsible for recruiting all men formed by the card player, Chris Pratt, a Mexican desperado, Manuel Garcia Rolfo, a tracker, Vincent Donofrio, an Indian of few words, Martin Sensmere, a sniper low hours, Ethan Hawke, and his inseparable friend Korean dominating like no white weapons, Lee by Ung Hun. Therefore 7 becomes the wonder number sign pointing to the execution of the intent to end the evil character who plays Peter Sarsgaard. And also the actor who is suffering an enjoyable experience to Hilary Swank in Boys Tend Not to Cry has aimed at roles increasingly twisted besides making it better. His book has the capacity to equate God with capitalism and discuss democracy inside a crowded church people who fear losing their home through the collecting zeal industrial. Cowardice is his strong point and displays it shamelessly for the faces of horror from the villagers. And who today represent that scoundrel? Ethan Hawke, recent winner in the San Sebastian Festival's Don Ostia Award, is a parent and has compared the villain of the film with Donald Trump, the Republican candidate for the U.S. presidency. For the actor, Trump represents greed someone that uses his capacity to manipulate people and can be overcome when all the people join forces against him, which in this instance will be the multiracial group of gunmen led by Chisome.